Hola. Hello, old lady. You have no nose. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Leftovers. My name is Dogby, and it is, of course, the Fortnite of Fright. It's almost over. We're almost at the end. Um, there's this and a couple more games left for me to record now. Um, and I'm hoping that you've all enjoyed it. Like, sincerely, I really do. Um, so this is a game, if you can't hear in the background, about leftover food. And neighborly sharing. Um, I've already gone through the settings and everything, so we're just going to get right into it and play. Oh look, there's a family. Over the top. Is that... Is that me? And then... Boy, I need your help, please. Why is Dad's face, like, covered? I'm assuming that's Dad. Oh, hey. <gasps> oh, I thought that was a cat. I was like, kitty. Wow, these chairs are huge. I am tiny. Oh. Uh, yes, you wanted my help, Mom? I cooked too much today. Can you be a dear and please give the leftovers away to our neighbors? When the cursor turns to a question mark, respond by nodding or shaking your head using a mouse. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, sure, I can help out. Are you sure, though? Because I'm a really small child. That's good to hear. Make your mommy proud, okay? Don't be like your dad. Um, I've put ten boxes of left leftovers in the bag beside you. Pick it up for me. This one? Pick up. Cool. I'm sorry for troubling you, dear, but mommy's busy with dinner. Wait, so you made too much and you're still cooking? Okay. I know I've taught you to never talk to strangers, but you're not going to let me down, right? Um, no. Good luck, dear. Okay. Can I go in the kitchen? No. Where's Dad? This is a very small apartment. I'm assuming that that might be, like, the bedroom. If that's the kitchen and this is the living area. Something tells me that these aren't in the correct... Like, surely two of these sideways would work just as well as four of them upright. But, you know, whatever. Um, okay. Let's go out and deliver some leftovers. By the way, don't come back until you're done, okay? Okay. Floor nine. Oh, that's home. Um, I'm guessing you're a neighbor? No? Can I, uh, move any faster than this? Would that be possible at all? Floor eight. Knock. <laughs> what a chunky little hand. Ooh, someone's coming. Uh, what do you want? Um, what do I? That smells delicious. Am I offering food? Do I need to pay? No. <laughs> what an idiot. Wait, why is half your face missing? I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to press Q to... Because I pressed Q, and it said that I was showing the food. Why it didn't tell me that, I don't know. Why was half of her face missing? Someone's coming. Hola. Como estas? <laughs> Quieres? <laughs> uh, yeah. Eh? Your mum's leftovers. Nobody wants that. <laughs> I don't know why I sniffed as well. Wait, are you the son of that beautiful chick from level nine? Yeah, I guess. Mm, I'll be sure to savour this while it's still warm then. Alright, you fucking weirdo. It looks like this is going to be a fun romp through how many different voices I can do that are still somehow British, because I'm guessing this is set in England with it being written as mum. I don't think it's from England. I don't think it was made. Here, but sounds like someone is taking a shower. I should come back later. In level seven. Okay. Do, do, do. That was the door frame, but hero. Someone's coming. What's up? What do you want, kid? I'm busy. This guy's an immigrant from America. Uh, kid is? Seriously? I guess this is somewhat tiring work. You know what? Just leave it outside the door. Thanks. Okay. Uh, 
Eh? Place food. <gasps> Ooh, he didn't shut the door. Boogity boogity! <laughs> I can't go on anymore. Mummy! Oh, I got scared and ran home. Dear, why are you home so early? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you're done? But, sorry dear, Mummy's really busy right now. I'm sure the neighbours aren't that much of a trouble, right? You can do it. So please, go back out there and make Mummy proud. Sure thing, Mummy. Let's get it. Let's fucking go. I can deliver this food like a pro. Although now that I've been scared, I have to go back down all this fucking stairs. Jesus Christ, kid. You're so short. It's insane. So this person was taking a shower. This was the creep. Um, wait, no. That was the woman with half a face missing. That was the creep. That was the one taking the shower. That was the creepy dude. Although he has now taken the food. And you can still see the box where I could leave it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's um, go down to level 6 then. Hola! Como estas? I have food. Knock knock. That sounds like it's from behind me. Here it is. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> well, aren't you an adorable one? What brings you here? Here it is. My, how thoughtful of you. You must be tired from walking up and down the stairs. How about you come in and rest for a while? No, thank you. Oh, maybe next time. Yeah, sure. What is going on with you, like, choking yourself halfway down your body or something? Alright, whatever. Um, let's knock on this door. Looks like no one's home. Okay, cool. And that's level six. So it's nine floors, two per floor. So, I, I, there's definitely more doors than food, so there will be a couple that aren't available. I don't want to talk to her, she's just going to bully me like in school. Okay, so avoid five left. Looks like no one's home on five right. Okay, so four, floor five's a dud. Oh. Hello? I smell food. I'm gonna place the food and back the fuck up because there's. Uh. Hey, buddy. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't even want to know what's going. So there's this side. Oh no, because she was on this side. I was gonna say is this side of the building all just fucking zombies. <laughs> Apart from that creep at the top. Let's see who's on this one. Looks like no one's home. All right, cool. Further down we go. To floor three. Wow, nearly done already. This is going incredibly well. Hola, como estas? I have food for you. Oh, no one's home. Hola, como estas? Looks like no one is home. Fuck me. That's two dud floors. Five and three are duds. Got it. Two. Oh, there's a dog. I don't like dogs, personally. Not the little shitty yappy ones like this, anyway. It sounds annoying as fuck. Uh, yo, what do you want? Get us? Oh man, you caught me in the best timing possible. I almost decided to just eat this little dot. Uh, never mind. Thank you. Uh, we used to have a bag of food down there. But some schoolgirl kept trying to steal it. I guess she succeeded. Goodbye. Wait, like, you had a bag of dog food. Could that school girl be, uh... Oh, the one that bullies me? So, you used to have a bag of dog food. I'm assuming you meant dog food. And then a school girl was trying to steal it. And she succeeded. But rather than keep the dog food in your apartment where it would be safe with the dog, you left it outside, so that's kind of your fault. And also, why haven't you eaten if your dog food was stolen? Like... Have you been eating dog food as well? Is that what this is? Hola, como estas? <gasps> Someone's in. Oh, hello, old man covered in bandages with a knife. What are you doing here, boy? Get us. Oh, it's fine, little one. I'm not hungry at all. Okay. 
How about a chat instead? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a chat. Thank you, it's been a long time since I had a chat. Well, you're entering the door covered in bandages holding a knife, so I'm guessing that that's true. You see, my wife just recently passed away. Oh, I'm sorry about that. So it gets pretty lonely after a while. Your forehead is wrinkly as fuck, boy, I've only just noticed. Especially this place, it gets to you eventually. For example, it felt like it was only yesterday that I met my wife. At the same time, it felt like it was only yesterday that I found her lifeless body with a knife stuck in her throat. I'm going to cut to the chase, boy. Tell me, do you think that it's wrong for an innocent person to get murdered? Yeah. Oh, I just realized his eye opened. Ooh. Do you think anger is normal when someone hurts our loved ones? Yeah. Do you think murderers should be punished? I mean, yeah. Then if you found out your loved ones, for example, your mom is a murderer, do you think she should be punished? Yeah. So honest, so innocent. Oh, is that a smile? You look like the silence. It seems that all is not lost. Come in and rest for a bit. I insist. Uh... I don't want to follow the old man with the knife. Don't worry about your mom. I'll get her. What? We? What? Did the old man just go and kill my mom? Mommy? Are you dead? Ooh. No? Okay. Alright, let's do this again. Um, and try... So, like, does he kill me if I say no? I could just say no for the chat, I guess. But I don't want to be rude. Hey, what are you doing here, boy? Okay, it is. Oh, it's fine. Little one, I'm not hungry at all. How about a chat instead? Yeah, sure, we'll have a chat. Thank you, it's been a long time since I had a chat. You see, my wife just recently passed away, so it gets pretty lonely after a while, especially this place. It gets to you eventually. For example, it felt like it was only yesterday that I met my wife, and at the same time, it felt like it was only yesterday that I found a lifeless body. <laughs> with a knife stuck in her throat. <laughs> Pardon me. It's because I was talking first. I'm gonna cut to the chase, boy. Tell me, do you think it's wrong for an innocent person to get murdered? Yes. Do you think anger is normal when someone hurts our loved ones? I mean, yeah. He's opened his eye again. Does this mean I've fucked it? Do you think murderers should be punished? No. Let's see if he kills me. I see you, so the son of the devil is finally upon my doorstep. So I get, yeah, I get shanked. That is a lot of stabs. I am a small boy. Like, I am barely higher than a chair. Like, I am, like, literally a, to a toddler in size. And this bitch is fucking shanking me like it's a prison yard. You know what? I'm just gonna not go to this door. And then I don't get stabbed and he doesn't go kill my mum. Oh, dog food. Why is there a bag of dog food here? Okay, well, this is floor one. And it looks like nobody's getting out of this building if they want. Someone's a coming. Please be normal. <gasps> Yay, you look remotely normal. Oh, hey. Um, is this a rumored tradition whenever a new neighbor moves in? Uh, sure. Kiaris? Well, yes. Sorry, I've never experienced this before. <laughs> What's this dish called? Um, I don't know, fuck I know. Um, sorry, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it looks so slimy. Uh, thanks, I guess. Wait, is that an eyeball? An eyeball? Uh, I don't know. Why is there a bag of dog food here? Looks like no one's home. Okay. Well, what do I do then? Because I've still got three food. Hmm. Was it floor three that was a dud? Yeah. It was three and five. 
that was a dud. Okay. food. No. Oh, someone answered. Cool. Oh, great. Well, 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 if it isn't the little cry, baby. <laughs> What are you doing here without your mummy and daddy? Is that food I smell? Give it to me. <laughs> Curious. <laughs> I see that you're finally gaining some common sense. Mmm, you think I'm the one stealing their food? Damn right I am, I've hidden it away. I got to teach that man a lesson. His dog licked me the other day. How disgusting. <laughs> His dog will probably starve to death any time now. Don't think about ruining my plan. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, then I'll go down and get the food. So, that was a dud door. But I guess I just had to come back up and try it. Unless I have to get the right thing with the old man. But I hope not, because... Like, I think... If I say the wrong thing... <laughs> if I say yes to, like... If I say no to any of it, like, even no to the chat, then... It seems rude, and then if I say yes to everything and then no to something, like, either my mum dies or I die. I found the stolen dog food. Yeah, well done, I found it earlier. But also, again, was that guy living off of it or something? Also, what floor was he on? Yeah, that still sounds like it's coming from over there in my headphones. Hola! Almost ass. You got back her food? Thank God. Just put the bag back. Huh? Crap, gotta go, kid. Thanks again. What? Uh, return food. Cool. Oh, shit. Look, it's not what it looks like. I don't even understand why that guy had to go. Unless he saw her, but even then, he's just a dude. He could just knock the f like beat the shit out of the child. What was wrong with you? I'm a toddler. Look, this person is genuinely taller than a chair. Like I'm fucked. Uh, you'll regret this. I've given her the wrong voice. You'll regret this. Chuff. Um. I've got food to give away. Food, food, my kingdom for a food. Wait, no, I want no food. I'm, uh, my food for a kingdom, I guess? I don't know. I'm guessing that it doesn't quite work in this situation. Um, so she was on floor five. This side of five was a dud. There's no one home. I'm gonna go to the old man again. And then see if that gives me anything. What floor is the old man on again? Old man? Looks like no one's home. Huh. Old man. I will give him the food and then I'll just say no to the chat. Yeah, he does have a knife. Well. Hello! What are you doing here, boy? Get yeah, it. Oh, it's it's fine, little one. I'm not hungry at all. How about a chat instead? No, thanks. I've got to go. Oh, please, I insist. Thank you. It's been a long time since I had a chat. Uh, 
Ishimaraz just recently passed away, so it gets pretty lonely after a while, especially at this place it gets to eventually. For example, it felt like only yesterday I met my wife, and the same time, it felt like only yesterday that I found her lifeless body with a knife stuck in her throat. I'm gonna cut to the chase, boy. Do you think that's wrong for an innocent person to get murdered? No. So I see the son of the devil is finally upon my doorstep. Oh. Motherfucker. <sighs> well, at least he stopped stabbing me. But okay, so the old man isn't it. I'm, he's not the guy. He's not that guy, pal. Mommy told me I can't go back until I gave away all the leftovers. Fuck. Shit. Okay, knock. Ooh. Someone here. Hola. Hello, old lady. You have no nose. Hello, you must be the little boy from next door. What brings you here? Get us. What's this? Mmm, my favorite. Just one more to go. I remember that Dad's friend lives on level 7. Please give my thanks to your parents for me. <coughs> By the way, have you been a good boy? Yes. <laughs> That's good to hear. Please continue to take care of your parents then. Well, good night now. See ya. Did I just not try this door? Did I just go straight downstairs? Whoops. But he just said Dad's friend lives on level 7, so I'm guessing that is the person taking the shower. Hello. I guess you were just taking a shower. But also, um... This is your... This is Dad's friend? Oh, she's pretty. Hey, you're the cute little kid from level 9. What are you doing all alone at night? Uh, cute is? Oh, you cutie. You must be so tired. I am. I'm literally one and a half feet tall, and I've gone up countless flights of stairs. Oh, wow. Your mom really made this? I just have to know her recipe. Who calls it? Oh, she's she calling on mom? Hi, Hillary. It's me, Laura. Um, yeah, your sweet little kid just handed it to me. Kenneth is a very lucky man to have you cook for him every day, huh? Our dad's name is Kenneth? Our mom's name is Hillary? What do you mean, was? Uh, let me guess. He finally told you about us? <laughs> Glad I don't have to do that. Wait, so... Oh, no. Huh? What do you mean that's not what you meant? Huh? You psycho bitch. You better not move, kid. I need to go home to mommy. Uh, yeah. I'm... I'm gonna go home. I'll kill all of you. Ooh. Oh shit, I'm moving, I'm on the maneuver. Oh, you <laughs> fat crap, shut up. Oh shit, I'm returning home. Uh, good job, dear. I'm very proud of you. What is it with everybody and knives in this place? You need to go to your room and go to bed. Mommy gets some leftover business to take care of. Nice. The end credits real impacts is the programmer, Sekarin is the artist, writer, and game designer, and I can either restart the game or quit. And I'm gonna gonna go ahead and hit quit in a moment. I'm gonna first of all say that was that was very cool. Again, what was with everybody and knives in that building? Like, you know, the old man had a knife, the the scary lady had a knife, the um Mom had a knife. You know? Like, Jesus. Um. Also, what was up with the, the kid at the end? The bully? I kind of wanted to have a look at, like, what she looks like when she comes out to kill us. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go back to that and have a look. But that was very good. I enjoyed that. It was a very simple premise. Um, and a lot is revealed at the end there. But in case you didn't pick up on it. Our mom had sent us out to deliver leftovers. Um, and obviously we're delivering them to everybody. We get like the hint when we're down at the bottom floor saying, is that an eyeball? And then someone screams as they run into their apartment and shut the door, which is a little bit of a weird reaction in my opinion, but whatever. 
um, you know, we get the dog food, we, we talk to the old man, stuff like that, we get shanked a bunch, but the old man seems to think that our mom killed his wife, for whatever reason. Um, but then we deliver the last of the food, and then he says, like the child says, oh, dad's friend lives on level 7. And we go to dad's friend, who is the person in the shower, the lady, the last lady there. Um, and we give her the food, and then she rings our mom, saying like, oh yeah, your kid's just giving me the food, like, you know, I have to know your recipe and stuff. And then she obviously says like, Kenneth is such a lucky man to have you cook for him every day. And then, what do you mean was? Because what has happened is our mom has killed our dad and turned him into the food, which we have distributed around the, the place. Um, which is why she calls him a, uh, calls her a psycho bitch and things like that, chases us. Um, it's crazy. But it's, it's a very good twist and very good little, like, narrative sort of story. Um... I'm gonna gonna go back to that point just to see what she looks like because she looked awesome like with the hair everywhere and stuff but um yeah we'll see So we are back and it is time to go to level 7 and see what this chick looks like. Hello! I'm going into your house. No? Okay. Hey, you're the cute little kid from level 9. What are you doing all alone at night? Get us? Thanks. You're... you're yeah, she did. Wow, you are really tall, huh? I was talking to you on the stairs before. You didn't seem this tall. <laughs> Hi, Hillary. Ugh. Sorry, I'm tired from going up and down these stairs all day. I've just done it, like, all this time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I finally told you about this thing, so she's assuming that she broke up with Kenneth. she tells her what's happened. You better not move, kid. I need to go home to mommy. Yeah, so I'm gonna... I'll kill all of you. Whoa! She does look really cool. Right! Okay, let's keep moving, because I know I've got to get past the bully. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with your mouth? Oh, those are... Oh, wow, yeah, she is fucked. Whoa! Is that my mum, like, poking through her there? Cool. I get stabbed a lot, too. Again. This is how I want to go. Getting shanked by a pretty lady. If anything. You know? Cool. Alright, let's survive. And, um... I wonder what happens if I go down the stairs. I'm not going to try it out, but... <laughs> I do wonder. Oh, kid, fuck off. Googly eyes. Bye. Cool. So, that is it. I accidentally opened the little, like, windows panel. Cool. Good job, dear. I'm very proud of you. Alright. Cool. So, we're back here again. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. That was pretty good. Um, I really enjoyed this. Um, and so much so that I played it twice. <laughs> but, Yes, I really enjoyed this. Thank you, everybody, very much for watching. And, of course, make sure you check out some more of the videos available for the Fortnite of Fright. Um, go ahead, leave a like on this video uh, if you liked it. Go ahead, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about it. And, of course, make sure you subscribe so that not only can you catch um, everything else that is going to be coming out in the future, but so that you can be reminded that... Uh, that I exist and that the Fortnite of Fright is is um going on.
<laughs> I've been dogbite. And goodbye. Mm -hmm.